Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. We are continuing our series on rebuilding this magnetic sign chuck. As you recall, when we took this apart, there was a couple leaf springs under here, and they help keep, I want to say, the magnet secured to the uh, top plate, which is kind of funny since it's already drawn together by the magnetic force, but they still put them in here. And one of them was broken, so we need to make a new one. The other one has some rust and some pitting, so I decided it'd be best just to start over from scratch. And what I've done is I've picked 1095 spring steel, and the reason I went with this is after it's hardened, it's very tough, and it can handle being under pressure for a long time. Other reason I picked it is, it's what I have in stock. So and another choice would have been um, 1074, 1075. It's more of a springy material. It's designed for more repetition, but this one's designed for more force. And what I ended up doing was cutting off a wide strip here, twice the width, what I need. And this material is too thick prepped it on the surface grinder, thinned it down, pretty easy process of thinning it down, flipped it over, cleaned up the other side, then I measured it, put it back down, saw that I needed to go uh, 22 thousandths more to match the original thickness of the first spring. Quick, coarse cuts, they don't have to be super accurate as long as I get it down to an approximate thickness. Then I took the wide strip, cut it in half on the bandsaw, and now we're ready to go for the next step. And that is actually physically forming these. Since they haven't been hardened yet, this material is fairly easy to bend and add the shape to, and we're literally just going to keep bending it. Until I get the radiuses that I want. When this is heat treated, it's not going to change its shape. So you want to bend this as accurately as possible. Let's go over the forge, throw these in some heat, and harden them. Hardening is not a complicated process. It can be, but we're going to simplify it because how these are going to be used at the end of the day isn't super critical. So let's head on over the forge. The spring steel I've been working with hasn't been hardened yet, so that's what we're going to do next. Um, I'm just getting set up with this forge, so it's actually a well, let's say, who I got it from, well, let's say, used it really well. What I want to do is I'm going to attach a rod to each one of these springs so it's easier for me to get in and out instead of using um, pliers or oh, what I want pliers. <laughs> that won't work. Tongs. Because uh, it just works out better. So let's come on over here and weld these up. So the goal here, we're going to heat these up, I think it's around 1600 degrees. The color we're looking for is a dark orange. We're not going to take them up to 1800, whatever that is. Uh, the dark orange, if it's too bright, well, we're going to see that we need to just let it cool off in the air before we dip it in the oil. The oil that I'm using here is actually hydraulic fluid, no big deal. We're not being super technical on this one. Oh, we're getting close. We're going to let that be just almost translucent. Let it cool just a little bit. Dunk it. OK, 
can't be any easier than that. Now, if I was trying to be super critical with this, if I had an edge that had to be perfectly done or a steel that had to be a perfect temper, I would actually be very careful on my second one that this oil hasn't heaten up too much because, of course, that's going to change it. But we're not being that technical with this. We just need a nice spring steel setup. It's nothing that's going to, if it fails, it's not going to be a catastrophic event. Now, for me to be doing this also technically correct, I need to be in a really, really dark room so I can judge the color of the steel correctly. But, you know, then I would have to be ventilated, blah, 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 blah. This, like I said, is going to be good enough for what I'm doing. If I start making knives or something, you're going to see how hardcore I can really be on tempering steel. But at this level, we're just talking about good enough. So our next step is we're going to clean the oil off of these and put them in the tempering oven, which I'm sure you like my toaster oven. When you want to buy a toaster oven, of course you want to just go to Goodwill or Salvation Army, something like that. You want to get the highest wattage one you can. Most of them are 1200. This one here is 1500, so it's definitely going to get up in the temperature range. They're usually not in the 1800 range, but if you find one, 1800 watts, you definitely want to buy it. So next, we need to toughen the steel or temper it. We've hardened it, but now it's brittle. By tempering it, it makes it a tougher metal. And you can decide if you want it tough or strong or whatever by what temperature you're setting it at. I'm going to go with 300 on this. Let me check to see the temperature. Excellent. So we're just going to let it cook. For a good hour, maybe an hour and a half, I haven't really decided, it matters what mood I'm in, shut it off and just let it naturally cool gradually. We let it soak in the oven, soak is kind of an interesting term, but really if you think about it, you really want that heat to soak in adequately throughout the whole steel. So it's been, I don't know how many hours now, but we're going to pull these out, okay. So now we've toughened them up. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning on them, make them pretty. I hope you guys have enjoyed this last video. There's still a lot more to come. We've got some very cool milling work to do on this, some unique lathe techniques, measuring techniques. As you can see in that first video, there's a lot of stuff that has to be done to this magnetic sign chuck to get it back into shape. So I want you guys to stay tuned. If you like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Also leave some of your comments. And until next time, Go out in your shop and build something cool. Thanks. See how they work.